Bikini Bottom is home to some of the most lackadaisical fish in the sea. We hope you got your power nap in, because it's time for another edition of SpongeBob Versus. Who's the laziest? Round one, it's SpongeBob versus Patrick. SpongeBob is famously known as Bikini Bottom's hardest working fry cook. However, the yellow sponge has had his fair share of lazy moments, like when SpongeBob was briefly fired from the Krusty Krab. Ready for your first day of glorious unemployment? Or as I like to call it, Fun employment? <laughs> hey, Squidward, look at me. I'm fun employed. Hey, you're good at this. Next on our itinerary, a brief mid morning siesta. <laughs> On the other hand, Patrick Starr is a perpetually fun-employed starfish that on most days you can find nestled under his rock getting some much-needed rest in from doing nothing. And it doesn't look like the winds are going to stop anytime soon. <laughs> Fishy go bye-bye. <laughs> and that's the way it is in your world today. Boring! This last known box of stale bites sure is delicious. Hey, it's empty! No, 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 no! Star Residence, Patrick speaking. Hey, Patrick. Hey, buddy! Is it 7.30 already? No, I'm still at work. How can I help you? Do you think that I could go the rest of the day without crying? Well, of course you can. Okay, great. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, Sure. This wasn't close. Patrick Starr is taking this round. Next up, Bubble Bass versus Old Man Jenkins. When Bubble Bass isn't coming up with an irritating order at the Krusty Krab, you can find this ne'er do well lounging in his mother's basement. Bubble Bass? Who are you talking to down there? Mother! Please stop trying to undermine my fantasy talk show! <laughs> You march yourself upstairs this instant. Take out the garbage, dry the dishes, and walk the worm. Oh, I don't feel like it. That tears it, mother. I am moving out. Moving? Ha! You can't even do your own laundry. Blech. We're moving all of my belongings out of my mother's basement into my grandmother's basement across town. Let's start with my lounge. Okay, Patrick, up with the love sheet. Oh, my bad back! I guess you two will have to move everything without me. So, I'll meet you both at this address. Then there's Old Man Jenkins, who's arguably one of the oldest fish in Bikini Bottom. He's also arguably one of the most arguable fish. Stop giving me the runaround, city boy! I want a rusty on rye and nothing less! But just how lazy is he? <laughs> there's more coffee. Hmm, that'll be 25 cents. I don't think so, Charlie. I get the senior discount. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Hmm. Ninny hogs at table all day. And annoys all the other customers. <laughs> And he don't buy nothing else, neither. He just makes that disgusting condiment soup. And listens to his radio. All for free. And any time someone says something to him, it's always the same response. Excuse me, could you turn the volume down on your soup? Respect your elders. <laughs> yes, sir. Sorry, sir. <laughs> 
While Old Man Jenkins is older and slower than Bubble Bass, the fact that Bubble Bass previously faked an injury to get out of moving his stuff gives him the edge. Our next matchup features two longtime neighbors, Gary and Squidward. Gary spends about every single day inside, which on the surface sounds lazy, but it's also where he lives. And he's a pet, so he doesn't really have much to do, you know? Are you ready to play with your new ball? Here it is, boy. You want it, boy? Okay, boy. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Uh, fetch! Ow! Okay, Gary, bring it back. Come on, Gary. Bring it back. You're supposed to bring it back. Oh, well. As long as he's not chewing on my stuff. Meanwhile, Squidward Tentacles works the cash register at the Krusty Krab, and he really struggles with the whole having to work part. Ah, uh, yes. Just how I like it. Nice and empty. Hey, I'm still here. Oh, yes, sir. Nice and empty. <laughs> Do you work here? <laughs> Welcome to the Krusty. But what the? <laughs> well, there goes my nap. That round was closer than we thought, but Squidward's overall lack of dedication puts him in a league of his own. Squidward blows Gary out of the water. And now our final first round face off, it's Bubble Buddy versus Lazy Mary. Bubble Buddy is SpongeBob's soapiest pal, whose first appearance is legendary in part because he didn't do anything. Seriously, he like hardly moved at all. Bubble Buddy's thirsty. How about a glass of our finest shampoo? <laughs> Sounds great. Uh. Here's your hair care product, sir. Uh, Bubble Buddy likes bendy straws. Huh? What's that? Bubble Buddy says it tastes funny. What do you think? Mr. Krabs! Think of the customer. Oh, silly me. I got the diet shampoo. It's his first time on his own. Once again, congratulations. Popcorn peanuts! Ice cold drinks! Two hours is long enough! That's it! Hey, Bubble Buddy, you're finished. On the other hand, Lazy Mary literally has Lazy in her name. Plus, Lazy Mary still lives with her mom and doesn't seem like she has much going on in her life. Yes? Hello, young lady. <laughs> We're selling chocolate. Is your mother home? Mom! What? What? What's all that yelling? You just can't wait for me to die, can you? They're selling chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah! What? What are they selling? Chocolate! What? Chocolate! I can't hear you! They're selling chocolate! They're selling chocolate? Yeah! I always hated it. Oh, but this chocolate's not for eating. It's for... You rub it on your skin and it makes you live forever. No, no, Live no, forever, no. you say? I'll take one. Come on, you lazy Mary. Start rubbing me with that chocolate. I hate you. We've seen enough. Bubble Buddy is moving on. And now for round two. It's Patrick versus Bubble Bass. Patrick isn't the greatest when it comes to responsibility. This starfish barely takes care of himself and his rock. And it shows. Oh, I made it. At least here at home I can't be attacked by those and odors. Oh, bad smells are all around me! Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! We can't imagine how bad it smells under there. It's actually kind of impressive how little Patrick Star accomplishes in a day. Oh, hold on! I like to sit in the back of the class. Uh, 
just focus on me, huh? All right, all right. So, without further ado... Patrick? Patrick, wake up. What happened, Patrick? Oh, come on, SpongeBob. You think everyone can stay awake for your boring speech? At the same time, while Bubble Bass regularly gets out of the house more than Patrick, that's not really saying a lot. Oh, no. Thanks, buddy. Bubble Bass, like Patrick, has even worked a shift at the Krusty Krab, although it also was short-lived. This is torture. My arms are killing me. I can't feel my fingers. I feel cramped. I'm cramped. My back is breaking. <laughs> All right, Bubble Bass, your tab's been wiped clean. You can go. Well, go already. Verily, I am free. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs! I thank the clever Claude Barnacle for forgiving my debt. And FYI, I just opened up a new tab. <laughs> While this is an even matchup, Patrick's less than ideal living habits put him over the top. Our next semi finals matchup is between Squidward and Bubble Buddy. Let's be frank, Squidward doesn't do anything at work. Squidward! Ah, what is your problem? My problem is that you aren't working, which means I lose M U N E E, which means you lose your J O B. Remind me again, is that good news or bad news? Tentacles, I mean it. You get back to minding that register. Minding it for which customer? I see your point. But still, I'm not paying you to dream sweet nothings. Do something. Pick up a mop, a broom, uh, a window wiper, a spatula even. SpongeBob's got that covered. When Squidward isn't busy doing nothing, you can also catch him at home with his tentacles up. Oh, yeah. Visualize yourself in a private grotto. Focus your perceptions on the native fauna and the soothing nature of their rustic calls. <gasps> you are one with nature. <sighs> what the? In addition to Squidward being a cashier, he's also a musician who could be a lot better, only if he practiced. Oh, that horrible noise! Let's get out of here! Then there's Bubble Buddy, who is so lazy he couldn't speak up or move for almost an entire episode. Hey, everyone! Have you met my friend Bubble Buddy? Yes! However, Bubble Buddy has turned his life around since he became a father to his son, Shiny. Ah, he's okay. Uh-oh. Hello there, SpongeBob. How's my little boy been faring? Oh, what? Oh, oh Shiny? He's, uh... <laughs> I'm having great. Well, now, it looks like you've gone and grown another head again, Shiny. Again? Not to worry. I'll take care of it. <laughs> so, SpongeBob, did my boy Shiny behave himself? Oh, he was just a little angel. This is an easy call. This cephalopod is moving on to the finals. It's Patrick versus Squidward. Patrick is lazy. Patrick, what are you doing? I'm talking to my friend. Funny. Hi, funny. <laughs> hey, SpongeBob, want to go jellyfishing? Sorry, Patrick, I can't. I have school today. What am I supposed to do all day while you're at school? I don't know. What do you normally do when I'm gone? Wait for you to get back. <laughs> but Squidward is also lazy. This is great. My day off. No worries. Just relaxation. I'm the boss. I deserve this. Ah. 
It is here that the boxes reach their final stage of assembly. Isn't there anything on that isn't about boxes? And welcome back to Championship Boxing. <laughs> I guess this is okay. I mean, it's not really about boxes. I give up. Warm fire, cozy slippers, and a piping hot cup of tea with a lemon wedge. <laughs> Why do I even bother? When it comes to work, neither of these characters have ever really lifted a finger or a fin. Patrick doesn't really have any goals, while Squidward at least wants to be a clarinetist. Yeah, uh, we're with the pet hospital down the street, and I understand you have a dying animal on the premises. Squidward proved to be a worthy opponent, but Patrick is by far the laziest fish in Bikini Bottom. Patrick is winning the whole thing. We'd say go ahead and celebrate with a nice nap, Patrick, but you were probably gonna fall asleep anyway. Sesto Frizzy!